I gotta get the two step real quick. Oh, God. Go for it. The fact that it shakes, it's like, Dude, the whole car moves. <laughs> it feels like I'm like short on like motor mounts or something. It's like, <laughs> What's up everybody, this is Valley Dream Car. I am here with Sergio. Yo. <laughs> this is a, a test drive for my ride and review new series that I'm gonna be coming out with. Uh, we're gonna be trying out different cars and I will be reviewing them. So today, what are we driving? Uh, this is my 2019 Toyota Corolla hatchback. Um, it's in that beautiful flame blue that everybody likes. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my favorite colors. One of the main reasons that I bought it. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just it's just a two liter. Uh, it's slightly upgraded over the 1.8 liter, the old engine that Toyota ran for fucking forever. Um, but yeah, nothing crazy done to it. It's just a nice car, and I enjoy modding it. What are the the mods right now? As it currently sits, I have. Uh, all I put really is a strut bar uh, recently in the engine bay, um, which I plan to do a lot more, but that'll be later, so that'll have to be like a follow up. Most recently, I did the um, some RSR lowering springs. Uh, those are probably the most recent things, so I apologize if the ride is a little bumpy. <laughs> it doesn't spin very much. Because <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, they're pretty aggressive with it. Um, I also have some uh, Avid One wheels in white, uh, a, uh, an, a, four, a quad tip exhaust, uh, I got the stainless steel from um, uh, fucking Remark, Remark exhaust, uh, got a little carbon fiber diffuser, um, little miscellaneous bits on the inside, nothing really too crazy, kind of some of that Amazon special stuff. Carbon fiber, yeah. Um, I think that's really of all the... Oh, oh. All the significant mods <laughs> that are done to it as of right now. Uh, like I said, I plan to actually drop a decent amount of money into it uh, this coming season uh, until March. So March will hopefully do a follow-up. Definitely. Cool. Uh, you are first owner, correct? Uh, technically second owner. So I picked this up in at the end of 2020. It's a 2019 model. Uh, and so the previous owner had it and he drove it for a whole 10,000 miles. So he had it and for whatever reason he decided to take it back to the dealership huh. so he gave it back to them i scooped it up for a steal and since then i put about twenty nine thousand miles on it Dang. so i am technically second owner but really the only person to have ever really driven it i just realized this is eco this is, is this hybrid no so eco just means the driving style ah. so that's all it's saying so it's an eco because basically it's more fuel efficient at that point once i either get on it once you either get on it or if i put it into sport mode then it goes away from mm. eco so okay does that yeah just anywhere does that change the sound or the ride not necessarily the sound it changes the shifting so in sport mode it will shift a little more aggressively and then it also makes it so uh it accelerates a little bit faster the throttle response gets faster hmm. so, now we're gonna check out the outside all right sounds good all right so right off the bat the color combo of white with blue i gotta say is pretty minty I like, I like this. Oh yeah, it is one other technically mod that I have done. It was a, an overlay kit that they offered a company called Hypnotic Designs. Mm -hmm. And so that front one you had to cut out yourself, but on the rear one, there's actually a whole plastic, um, what is it? Uh, like epoxy, but not epoxy, but it's a whole emblem that's actually a solid mount that you uh, 3M onto it. So, oh, damn. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. Yeah. So you got a carbon fiber diffuser. Yep, a little carbon fiber diffuser. Uh, interestingly, that's actually from Amazon. So what? Yeah, it's, it comes with, yeah, from Amazon. It, you pay the price of carbon fiber, but it's carbon fiber. Uh, the spats came with it too. And then um, I have the Remark exhaust as well. All right, 
Tell me about your, your wheel specs. All right, so it's a square setup. Uh, they are all the way around. It's an 18 by, I believe it's a nine, 18 by nine. Uh, tires are 235, 235, 30, I believe. They're a little bit big. Um, oh, and the wheels are 18 inch, obviously. <laughs> but um, the I wanted to go to 18 inch for sure because it filled up the wheel gap very well. Um, but yeah, I went a little aggressive with the tire because I wanted more of a meaty stance and it rubs ever so slightly. But so as soon as I can go down on a smaller size tire, it'll be flipping perfect. But so you're thinking like 235, 35s? I think so. Well, oh yeah, I said it wrong, didn't I? Oh yeah. So the two thirty-five forty-fives currently. But you want. But I think I want to uh, go thirty-fives. Okay. So that smaller sidewall will just make it one stretch a little bit, yeah. cave in a little bit, and it'll make it perfect. So, yeah. Right now they're a little aggressive, but I wanted the eighteens to fill up the fender well, and I think. It it yeah, it fills up pretty well. The stock. Pretty, is just, like you're tucking no, pretty good. There's like no gap. So. What are some outside mods that you're planning on doing? So. Probably won't get to it this year, but probably hopefully next year of 2025. I hope to do a whole front end conversion. So they, uh, the a lot of common uh, mods for it are that people do the sedan bumpers on hmm. these hatchbacks. And so what they'll do is they'll take like literally it's usually out of a sedan SE. So they actually come with like fog lights, which Dope. these ones don't come with one. Um, or you have to have the XSE. Mine's just the SE. And so their fog lights, though, are like LED like strips on the bottom. They're su they look super cool. And their huh. bumper goes like a straight, like, it goes like mean grill and it goes straight down rather than this one kind of points back in. There's, so the sedan is like super aggressive. I don't think I've ever noticed that. Yeah, so, and it looks badass on these cars. Let's, uh, let's see the, the sway bar. Go. Pop the hood. Yeah, no, pop the hood. <laughs> A thick soy bar. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody, the person who actually sold me the RSR lowering springs, also had this for sale. It's a Cusco uh, truck race, and I really liked it. One because of the blue, but also because it's not very common. Yeah. A lot of people do. There's like a couple um, companies out there that are very common to put on your car. These I feel like are a little harder to find. So that's pretty cool. go through the inside real quick All right. what we got um honestly not too much yet um i like to try and keep it simple and comfortable um one of the first little bits that i did was honestly just getting these like little overlays of carbon mm. fiber uh definitely not real definitely some amazon <laughs> specials but you know what honestly i think they make it look nice enough until i do decide to yeah. go throw the full money into it uh this is actually one of my favorites because this one is a decently good part um because uh so my car comes with a cvt and so with the cvt um you need or at least in these cars there's an actual button to be able to shift so it's not like a traditional one so like i had an old corolla and that one had one of just like the screw in almost yeah. like a manual shift knob that i could interchange all the time but this one needs a specific mechanism hmm. so but it's got a nice leather wrapping it's very close to actually make a trd from toyota style one That's for dope. like tacomas and stuff like that so this is very much like that so it comes with nice leather wrapping on it and stuff so okay okay later i do plan to eventually get like a, a gtr style uh, steering wheel mm. uh, that'll keep the oem airbag and everything but it'll be like full carbon fiber um they use it like the led uh, shifting indicators mm. um i may or may not have recently gotten some uh some bucket seats that i plan to throw in so dope we'll see about that definitely need a yeah. updated video <laughs> yeah. then yeah so um other than that honestly i'm i don't mind vip styles but me personally i've never been one to like want to do my car like that i'd more rather have it comfortable slash slight race car feeling so okay. that's that's kind of what i, like I dig it i feel it Oh, you have sports mode and eco mode. Yeah, and so basically it will automatically be in eco no matter what to be fuel efficient. Mm. Um, and all it really does, it doesn't change anything it, other than it's just driving economically and will you know be good on gas mileage. Mm. But it goes away as soon as you put your foot down to it. And then it's and then once you let off again, then it pops up back as being eco. Mm. So it's mostly just to let you know that, hey, you're being a good driver. Well, <laughs> Oh. We'll chill at Eco until the, the stop. Yeah. Oh. 
What is your current MPG? Um, so it depends on if it's city or um, town driving. So city driving is right around, I'd say 25 to 30. That's right pretty in good. That range, yeah. So, and then if I do, and I before when I used to commute a lot, I would do strictly um, freeway driving, and that was closer to about 40, 42 ish. That's yeah. what it's rated for. So. Okay. All right. Let's see the sports mode. Was this a button? Yeah. So right here. So that's actually what changed it to sports. So you can see. So right now an eco, and then when I just push it. It goes straight to sport. So that's one thing that changes. So let's see if we can we good. not get in trouble. So it's a straightaway into a, an S. <laughs> There's there is traction control you can turn off and if you hold it It turns off all the safety features. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so <laughs> if I really want to Picks up pretty quick. Yeah, so I mean it's only got <laughs> <laughs> So I mean and it's only got 170 horsepower so for what it has Feel everything, <laughs> and then you feel everything. <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. So, and then so you can see like the revs are hanging like above like 2200 RPMs. Once I get it out of start out of sport mode, it goes right back to eco. So, so you got a lot quieter too. Yeah. So yeah, when it hangs, and this exhaust is honestly pretty nice. Um, I wanted it mostly for the um, the burnt titanium look that it gives but honestly for just for being a cat bag with just like two little mufflers it's really nice and sounds pretty it, good it gives it a decent amount of sound so i'm happy with it it's real sense. yeah this i do not remember this road being this trash it's bad this is where i went to middle school oh really <laughs> and then the <laughs> elementary like, school uh, was my uh, elementary school i wonder if it's just this side because the other side almost looks better yeah i mean oh, 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 oh. So what, what would you say is your favorite part of your car? Ooh, favorite part of it? Um, including, so we'll do, mod, mods and what as it comes? We'll do factory first. Factory first. Mods. Factory. I'm gonna swap this real quick so we can see each other. So favorite thing I would say from the factory is specific to this hatchback and to um, the newer gen that thing and they're like yeah it's all reliable and I'm I mean like, if it's not broken don't fix it yeah yes sir what was your first car my first car was actually a also a Corolla but it was a 2009 um, so it was just this little or actually not little it was pretty big actually but it was this <laughs> 2009 Corolla um, it was like the LE so like basically the base model it was slow it had that 1.8 so it was slow as shit um 
and it took forever like you could not get on the freeway it took absolutely forever to get on the freeway you're hoping and praying that a semi truck wasn't gonna just push you along dude like <laughs> yeah, that thing was ridiculous yeah that thing was ridiculously slow not fun and just it, it was one of my first cars so technically it was my first car I never modded it and then I crashed it so then I had to go and buy another car uh, myself and I was like you know what that I like that car enough you know it was good decent uh, good car so why don't I just go and get another one so I went out and I got another 2009 uh, Corolla the only difference was it was a different color and it was not time I can get these wheels to spin is when it is raining so I probably won't be able to but we can try Side, this thing freaking digs like it it's weird the difference so if it's like 35 outside the amount of the mu the amount of torque this thing gets on the low end is way faster it's mm. super interesting because uh, engines like that the one na engines love to be revved up hella high the higher the rpm more compression so the more power they put out and then but with the colder they are they just run like crazy so it's, it comes with this cute little cute little thing right here Oh, you got the slapstick? Yep, I got that, so... because I felt like it was way more gimmicky than it was like actually Sweet. cool and useful. Huh. And yeah, so let's see. No pops, no nothing. No, unfortunately not. Um, the only thing that it really does is that, so, which uh, you've heard before, is that it does have that like a uh, mimicky like two-step almost. Mm. So when it's, <laughs> yeah. So huh. what it does is uh, once you put it in park, it will actually, um, almost like bang off the rev limiter. It's, I think the limiter set at 5,000. So when you put it in, uh, in park, it will do that. So no, but what if I put it, if I put it in neutral, I can go all the way. See right there. Oh. So I think it's, what is that, 4,500? Yeah. <laughs> so. All I, these old ladies in traffic I know, are probably like, they're like, Jesus, <laughs> what a bunch of racers. Damn racers. <laughs>
But like right so, now you're a Yeah, six. like right now I'm like, it's a six, you know. I I do have a lot of plans, unfortunately, that cost a lot of money. But yeah, so I do plan to do like a full air setup. Eventually, eventually a wide dope. body, some three piece wheel. Yeah, so there's a lot okay. that can be done. So as it sits right now, I give it a solid like six out of ten. But <laughs> I respect that. Yeah. I was in the six range. Yeah, a little. Like, I could definitely see where you want to go with this and yeah. then yeah, I'm for it, man. Definitely. It's gonna be dope. <laughs> we'll we'll have to do an, an upgraded oh yeah video part for two. Sure. For sure. It's gonna have like multiple parts so <laughs> multiple versions oh yeah all right well that is it for our first write and review we'll see you guys soon make sure you follow him on instagram drop your uh your ig uh, enthusiast dash e210 or sorry underscore e210 and yeah i hope to it'll be fun when we do the, the follow-up because i plan to bail this thing out like crazy so oh, yeah sounds awesome. good cool cool all right